some uh, news this week. Apple has uh, released uh, a new gadget. And, uh, you know, we, we're going to bring our friend uh, Brian Jackson on the line. He's from Infotech Research Group, where it's all about the research. He's an analyst and uh, tech enthusiast uh, as well. And just wanted to talk about uh, some of this uh, latest uh, news. Not only did they release some new uh, headphones, uh, but uh, also announced when uh, the new Fitness Plus app is live. Yeah. Very soon. Very soon. Thanks for joining us, Ryan. Yeah, glad to be here, guys. So what did you think about the news this week? Uh, we got headphones, we got uh, the Fitness Plus announcement, and uh, the family setup for the Apple Watch is uh, live as well. But I think the big news would be the, uh, the over-the-ear headphones dubbed yeah. the AirPod. AirPods Max. Max. AirPod Max, as in maximum impact on your wallet, because these <laughs> things are incredibly expensive. This is $550 US. In Canada, after tax, you're paying $800 for a pair of headphones. Oh, I thought five fifty was the Canadian price. No, I know you would think so. You would hope so, but no, it's even more than that. So close to eight, yeah, over eight hundred with tax. Yeah. Wow. I don't yeah, know. I'd, I'd I don't know if I'll be able to get this. that for Christmas. Yeah, I don't know if I'll be able to get that for Christmas. <laughs> well, you can't because they're already like a fourteen week uh, pre order time. So, Brian, I know where you're going with this. You're like, what the hell? They're so expensive, but they're sold out. Right, so, of course. And that's the magic of Apple is uh, they can make anything and make people want it instantly. But the power is not that they're made an incredibly good product. And usually I would say that Apple is known as a premium technology brand. They create, yes, higher priced products like the MacBook, the iPhone. It's a pretty expensive product, but you get the return on the quality. The, the build quality is there. It lasts a long time. It's high performance. It's really good and makes you happy. In, in this case, I don't think there's any argument for the price tag other than it's a, a, a shameless luxury tier pricing tactic. And they just want you to be able to flaunt your buying power by using the, the by buying this and putting it on your head as a piece of fashion technology, but it comes in five colors, Brian. What what are the five colors again? <laughs> uh, because I mean, if it's green, then maybe it's worth eight hundred dollars, right? Well, there is <laughs> like a green one, color a lot. which I which I do like as well. Uh, it comes in a sky hmm. blue. Hmm. It comes in a, a gray. Um, eight hundred dollars. Uh, I mean. Obviously, they're they're putting a lot of good tech in there. Well, yeah, I mean, the problem I have with AirPods and AirPods Pro is I always found that they were very expensive for what they actually are. And when you look at the marketplace of what else is out there, they're really expensive. They're simple. They're easy to use, no question, especially on the Apple side. But I've got like a $50 pair of Amazon Echo Buds that, Sound just about as good. I can't live without my AirPods. I love them. Yeah. We know. Yeah. But yeah. so the question is, when I spent $800... There just has to be a ceiling, a price ceiling on what you would would spend on headphones. I mean, they just let you hear sound. That's it. Like, that's all you need for a pair of headphones. Like, you're, you've got... You, you talk about the high-end technology. It's a couple of magnets with copper wire wrapped around it inside, and they're covering it with foam. I mean, the, the technology is not amazing. They haven't done anything here that's not released to the market. And as for this spatial audio feature, that's only available if you're using it with your other overpriced Apple products like the iPad or the, or the, or the, uh, the iPhone. So uh, most consumers don't even have that option. If you shell out 800 bucks, you don't, you're not getting that benefit of the spatial audio when you use it with uh, any other device. Did, did someone break your iPhone, Brian? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I mean, to give you an idea of um, my reasonable approach to buying technology, I won't even spend $800 on a smartphone, right? Like I just bought a Pixel 5. It cost me $500. So I, I got it on some Black Friday special. So how can Apple come into the market and say, yes, buy a pair of headphones that are more expensive than the laptop you use, the smartphone you carry, or the tablet that we okay. sell you. Okay, so, but the honest answer here right now is uh, everyone, Google, Samsung, they're all asking themselves, how can we do this? <laughs> how oh, can no we doubt. charge? I mean, the results are there. And uh, Apple is laughing all the way to the bank because they've sold, sold them out. The thing though, 
th- this price point, and I'm not defending Apple with it, and because I haven't listened to them yet, and I'm not an audiophile. Uh, we do have people on the team that are. So when we do get our pair, we will definitely test them out. Test them out. Yeah. Um, this price point is not out of line for audiophile equipment. It's actually probably half of what the average audiophile over the ear closed design headphones would go go for typically in the you know the 12 to 1500 dollar range yeah and and we've given away noise canceling headphones on this show that were worth a thousand bucks yeah yeah so it, it's not out of the realm and again i'm not defending it because i haven't well, used your it. uh sophisticated audiophile really going to apple to get that premium tier audio quality. I don't think they are. I think they're, if you're serious about engineering music or something, I think you're going with a music brand that's been made in this business for a long time. You know, I see this more on the product uh, c- category list alongside something like Bose or Sony or what even Parrot had uh, that those Zeke pair of headphones that were on the market. And you can buy those, uh, you know, from th- $350 up to about $450. Uh, I, I don't, I just think this is an overpriced product in the category that it's even trying to be in. Well, Brian, we're, uh, we know what you're getting in your stocking. It's a lump of apple coal. <laughs> but we want to uh, thank you for coming on the show today. All right. Thanks for hearing me out, guys. Appreciate it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube page. And you know that little bell icon? Hit that and you'll be notified every time we post a new video. And comment. The more comments and the more likes and subscriptions we get, the more videos we can make.